Welcome to the Game Week 30 Q&A episode. Walid asks, is it time to get rid of Wilson? If so, who should I replace him with? Wilson has put us in a difficult situation because he's blanked in each of the last four game weeks now, over some good fixtures against Stoke and Newcastle at home and Huddersfield and Leicester away. But for now at least he's still been starting games, and Bournemouth are one of only eight teams with a fixture in game week 31. With that in mind, I'd be inclined to hold him for two more weeks, and then look to sell him after the home game against West Brom in game week 31, and just accept that he may get reduced minutes in that time. If you're someone who's either playing the free hit chip in game week 31, or you already have a good number of players in your team with a fixture that week, maybe then you could think about upgrading him to someone like Ben Teke or Josh King, who we learned last game week is on penalties for Bournemouth ahead of Wilson. But those are luxury transfers, really. Felix asks, what to do with Sterling? It depends on your strategy going forwards in many ways. If you're planning to use the wildcard straight after game week 31, then there's less of a risk in selling Sterling, because you can always bring him back in then, and you'll be able to replace him with a player who is more assured of a start in game week 30, and has a fixture in game week 31, while Man City will be without a fixture. For those without an Everton midfielder already, Theo Walcott or Guilfi Sigerson could be the ones to look at, with Brighton at home this weekend before Stoke away the following game week. However, if you're looking to hold on to the wildcard for a few more weeks, or you've already used it, it might be better to just keep hold of Sterling. He's been back in training for a few days now, and there's a good chance he'll play a part midweek in the Champions League, ahead of the Monday night fixture against Stoke. Dan asks, is Lukaku now an option? His goal against Crystal Palace means he's now provided three goals and one assist over the last four game weeks. Only Aguero and Salah have been directly involved in more goals during that period, amongst forwards. Lukaku's return to form coincides with Man United's potential double game week, which is expected to fall in game week 34. That would see them face West Brom at home and West Ham away that game week, so Lukaku would be a key target for us if that was the case. For those looking to play the wildcard in game week 32, you could look at bringing Lukaku in there, ahead of Man United's home fixture against Swansea. Daniel asks, should we start taking risks on Arsenal players because of their good fixtures, yet no form? If so, who? As far as their defenders and midfielders go, there aren't really any options that have shown consistency of late. Aaron Ramsey would be ideal if it weren't for his injury record, and Henrik Mkhitaryan has shown glimpses of what he can do, but nothing overly impressive. However, Aubameyang is someone to keep an eye on, having already scored twice during his first four league appearances for Arsenal despite facing Man City and Spurs over that run. His tally of five shots on target over the last four game weeks puts him level with Lukaku. Only Aguero and Kane have taken more amongst forwards over that period. For most of us, the home fixture against Watford in game week 30 will be a chance to observe Arsenal and assess whether or not we should move in for their players after the game week 31 blank, where they'll face home fixtures against Stoke, Southampton and West Ham over a four week period. Zamboni asks, where do you plan to use your remaining chips and why? Is it not better to have a strong team for the next game week and free hit for 31? Using the free hit chip in game week 31 is an option for those who haven't already been planning for that week by bringing in players such as Mane, Van Dijk, Walcott, Shaqiri, etc. But there could well be a better time to play it in the future. In game week 35, we'll once again face a scenario where a number of teams will have their games postponed due to advancing in the FA Cup but this time it could be even more of a problem, as it falls right in between the two double game weeks, which are likely to be in game week 34 and game week 37. So using the free hit ship there would enable us to really maximize our scores in those double game weeks. A third use for the chip is during a double game week itself. For game week 34 for example, if that is indeed when the next double game week falls. You could use the free hit chip to load up on 11 players who play twice, before reversing back to your previous team for game week 35 which would be more suited for the blank game week, given that teams like Man United, Spurs and Chelsea have a high chance of being without a fixture that week, yet their players will be important for us to own in the potential double game week 34. If you've already used the triple captain chip, you might consider the following strategy. Using the free hit chip in game week 34, and then the wild card in game week 36 to prepare for using the bench boost in double game week 37. But for those with all chips remaining, the consensus seems to be a strategy with an earlier wild card. So a wildcard in game week 32 or 33, the bench boost in 34, the free hit in 35, 
and then your remaining triple captainship in game 37. And the final question for this episode comes from Nicola, who asks, is Van La Parra a good shout for the upcoming game weeks? He's cheap and has a good run of fixtures. So he started each of the last four game weeks, scoring two goals, and his tally of five shots on target is on par with a Nautovic, and more than Ramsey, Shakiri, Lingard or Stanislas have managed in that time. Huddersfield are one of only eight teams with a fixture in game week 31, and they host Swansea in game week 30, so the next two games particularly are appealing for Van La Parra. So aside from the popular trio of Salah, Walcott and Shakiri, from the selection of Game Week 31 midfielders, the Huddersfield man looks to be a good alternative in the short term. Follow FPL Tips on Twitter for more FPL news, updates and community interaction.